the morning. Looking incredible. Well, morning everyone. Just woke up, had a uh, bit of a sleep overnight and uh, yeah, going out for a mission. It's been way too long. Um, firstly spearfishing and secondly on the kayak. Sorry, the light's a bit the light's a bit bad there, but we've got the kayak all set up, guns, fins, everything in there. Plan is to head along the coast here. I'm on the Coromandel Peninsula, um, somewhere where I shot my first 20 pound snapper. So it's a very fishy spot. I drove quite a few hours last night and um, yeah, arrived here late at night, jumped in the sleeping bag and, and got some sleep. So um, yeah, I've actually got basically one bag of fish left in the freezer. So keen to stock up for the next few weeks. Um, you never know what the weather's doing this time of year. And yeah, just have a nice dive. I'm just so amped to get in the water. It's been ages. It's just a stunning morning. The swell is very, very minimal. We've got a little light offshore breeze. Should be spectacular diving. Anyways, I'm just gonna have a bit of a cappuccino. Got the jet boil. Cooking some water. Heating up some water. Coffee is not recommended, by the way, for spearfishing. It's uh, probably probably one of the worst things you can do in the in the morning before a dive. It increases your heart rate, which in summary um, lowers your breath hold time. So um, yeah, don't do it unless you really have to. I'm pretty tired, so I need one. Well, guys, we are all suited up, ready to go. Had a coffee, feeling great and gonna shoot out. It's just looking stunning. Absolutely calm out there. Slight little swell coming in. Can't wait, let's do it. gonna launch this kayak down this pretty steep bank drag it through some rocks and we are into it oh. Oh. Bit of a fall there Low tide's not helping, but it is what it is. Not too far, another 20 meters and we'll be in the water. The rocks are really slippery, which is good. It means I can drag the kayak, but uh, yeah, I've had a fair few falls already. Almost there. Water's looking clean already. Fingers crossed it's uh, good out there. Here comes the sun, just looking absolutely beautiful. I live for this stuff, it's just awesome. Oh well, we made it, made it out on the water and it's one of the nicest mornings I've been out in a long time. Sun just peeking up. Beautiful. All right, enough, enough talking. Let's push. 
It's going to shoot up the coast here and uh, get in the water and shoot some fish. Hopefully find some crayfish as well. Let's go. told guys before and I'll tell you again you've got to just put in a bit more effort um, if you want to dive in some awesome spots and, and see more fish um, I drove three hours last night from home to get here uh, slept in the back of the wagon overnight um, just so I can make the most of this early morning be in an awesome spot Obviously, as you can see, there's no people around. Less pressure, more fish. It's pretty, um, pretty simple math statistic. So, put a bit more effort in, guys. You're gonna have so much more, more enjoyable, productive dives. I mean, look at this. It's just absolutely awesome. All right, keep pushing. Keen to get in the water. It's quite nice and warm, actually. We're in June, and it's about 17 degrees still. Beautiful. Almost at the spot guys. Beautiful. Well, as soon as I jumped in the water, I was greeted with some shiny movement down below. The water was fairly dirty. But I noticed a nice school of kawai coming in, dove down, waited for them to circle around me and, and chose a nice big fat one. Spined it here and uh, yeah, good start to the day. Beautiful fish. That was going to be some nice sashimi for dinner. Brain the fish, bleed the fish, gut the fish, same old procedure, save the clean up for later, and into the chill pot it went. On to the next. I was a bit disappointed by the conditions, um, quite hazy as you can see it, there wasn't much swell little to no swell but um, yeah hazy conditions a few marble fish here cruising around but pretty quiet um, this was 10 20 minutes into the dive anyways I set a fish burly and here I go down checking up on it creeping down this ledge through these kelp using them as cover Just set a few burlies. Um, I set one back there. I cut up a silver drummer fish burly, and exactly we're in a spot where I've shot a big snapper before. So hopefully it's the magic spot. And and I just uh, set another burly about 50 meters away. Smashed up a bunch of kinna. So um, I'm going to get her back. Check on the fish burly. Hopefully there's a snapper on there. A nice one. Let's go. Let the fish sit a while, breathed up, checked the gun, was ready to go, safety off, line nice and tight, and uh, took a nice deep breath, cruised down this ledge, the exact same ledge where I've shot a, a nice big snapper before and, and seen many, but this morning just uh, was a bit quiet. Beautiful approach here, nice long kelp stalks to 
grab onto and hide myself. This is a perfect scenario for ambushing a snapper. We're also only about three to five meters deep here, so uh, my type of diving and ambush. Well, that was um, not what I was hoping for. Nothing on there at all, not even a small snapper. I had seen some, a couple of small ones, that's why I set the burley there earlier, but um, the tides aren't exactly what I would like. Um, usually incoming tides better. Um, I think it's just about low tide, it was just going out for an hour, so uh, yeah, oh, it should be just turning now, so we'll just let it sit, maybe leave it for another 30 minutes and come back um, come back then and see if something's on it then. Um, yeah, not sure, snap around here though, so um, yeah, see how the morning progresses. Go and check that can of early now and see if there's anything on there. Anyway, it's got a car wire, got something. Similar situation here, just a nice shallow ledge, that's all you need, uh, especially in winter. If you're after the bigger snapper, they're all parked up in the shallows, so fish your feet first, as they say, or fish your fins here, something like that for spearfishing. Anyways, creeping down over these kelp, approaching the smashed up kinna, or sea urchin as you would call them overseas, um, but yeah, the same thing again, just a, a few odd reef fish, a couple of blue mau mau, not the target species today. I found a cray down here, red cray, so um, looks like that's dinner. So um, go down and grab them, see if there's any more around. Usually if there's one, there's more. I was way too slow in the grab there as you can see and um, yeah the cray backed up into its crack and dug its claws in. I just could not get it out on this breath. Anyways had a break on the surface, had a breathe up and I was determined to get this crayfish out for dinner. Down I went. This time I ditched the spear gun so I had two hands ready to fight this cray out of its hole. In I went and just started shaking back and forth, pushing in and out, twisting, doing anything to get it out. Finally gave it a good shove backwards, dislodged it from its claws and then got the other hand in and, and ripped it out. I was pretty determined. Not huge, but he's legal. Male. We'll double check him, but uh, I've got a few of these in my time. He looks well legal. Ooh, awesome. Usually once you find one crayfish, there's quite a few in the area. Um, so I was diving down here, checking every boulder underneath, crevice and caves. And then this pigfish came flying out here. So I thought, you're mine. Waited for him to get away from the rocks so I didn't have to bend a shaft and took a good shot and nailed him. So um, another fish on the board. Awesome. I was hoping to um, come across one of these. 
Good crush. Beautiful eating. Awesome. Alright, we're getting a few species on the board now. After getting that fish back on the kayak, diving down once again, checking the boulders once again. Perfect area for crayfish, but uh, couldn't see any feelers. Kept creeping around, snooping around, and then I saw a nice big fat butterfish catch my eye, saw me, took off in the other direction and took a really nice long shot. Um, I was pretty happy with it, right at the end of the range and, and nailed him. Not my favourite fish, just pan fried but crumbed up. These are by far my favourite in a fish burger. They're just beautiful, melt in the mouth. Hey, I've uh, said this in the past guys, uh, these, these are quite territorial fish, so be easy on them in the area you're diving. Just take one or two, leave the rest, and then we can all enjoy butterfish burgers in the future, all right? Here's a nice big butterfish just bathing on the rock here. Takes off as I near, and uh, yeah, I wasn't going to take another one. That was the only two butterfish I had seen, so a 50% uh, take from the area is uh, more than enough. Nice big sand eggs rest here. If you see these guys out, crack up a few kinder for them and give them the feed. They're very, very friendly. They'll eat out of your hand. Very fishy little spot here. I did quite a few dives on it, but uh, nothing worth taking was coming in, so it was time to move on. Things are starting to um, be a bit more active. I think once that tide turns, it's um, yeah, pushing some water in and the fish are starting to feed and, and whatnot. So I'm going to go back and check that first uh, fish burly and see if we can get something on there. Let's have a look. Fish burlies are usually great in winter. Um, you don't have the problem of all the sharks which come into the shallows in summer. So yeah, it's a good a good time to use a fish burly over kinna. Um, sometimes it takes up to an hour for fish to come on them, um, but usually once they do come, they're quite sizable fish. Not sure if it was the tides, fish weren't hungry, or a bit of both, but it was uh, yeah, it was hard work this day, and nothing was coming in on the on the burly. So that's spear fishing. morning starter. Um, just got buzzed by a nice big kingfish. Um, I was just starting to pull the anchor in and out of the blue nice big kingy came in but um, that was it one look and he was gone. I quickly grabbed the gun back off the kayak and it was too late. Um, yeah things are definitely starting to pick up. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah I've got a butterfish, a pigfish, a crayfish. What else have I got? In a car wash so far, so um, yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much fish sorted anyway. So 
I'm actually going to go paddle out. There's a, a bit of an island out further here, um, really deep water nearby, and might have a good chance of getting any kingfish. I didn't really think there'd be any around, but the water's still a bit warm and plenty of bait fish and cutter so yeah, I'm going to cruise out there, about a 10, 10 minute paddle, and um, yeah, we've still got about four hours of incoming tide, so plenty of time, plenty of diving ahead. All right, let's go. Have some water, thirsty. Pretty awesome uh, scenery here. Okay, we're just nearing this rock here. So, I'm just gonna gear up. I'm just gonna cruise slowly in. I don't wanna make too much of a scene. And then uh, jump in. Hopefully there's some kingfish there. Wind's down to pick up, so I'll hit this rock. Shoot, in, in, uh, shoot closer in shore, hug the coast, and I'll just slowly make my way back. I think it's gonna get a quite windy by about lunchtime, so I see my little flag, they're blowing away already, so better get into it. I jump in at the next spot. I'd seen kingfish here before, and I thought, good chance, even in these winter months, there could be some kingfish here. It didn't take long. Saw a few kahiru buzzing by, and straight in behind them, as predicted, a nice school of kingfish just came humming in. Um, unfortunately, they weren't very big, so yeah, weren't worth uh, taking. They looked marginal uh, of the size limit, so I let them go. Whew. So, dove down there, and um, geez, I don't even think I saw like one fish, maybe one fish this big, it was it was dead and barren. And, um, and then just a small school of kahiru came in, very small ones, and then followed by about eight or so kingfish you saw in that video there. I think I got that on film. Um, just small guys, they're probably, oh, hard to say, they might have been just legal. So, um, yeah, not, not worth taking them if they're, you know, waterline. So, just let them be, and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna move on. It's getting quite lumpy. As predicted, that wind's picking up and um, swell and everything, so it's not the most pleasant diving right here. I'm gonna shoot in shore. Tide's still pushing. Um, there's a bit of a corner here, a few rocky outcrops. I haven't, I haven't dived there before, I'm gonna give it a go. Always good to try some new spots out. And um, yeah, we'll see if we can pick up another couple of crays or, or a snapper, um, whatever, just a few more fish, a few more butterfish even, um, just to round off the day. And uh, start making our way back. Sweet. Jumping in at the next little rocky outcrop, I found this nice shedded cray shell skeleton. And uh, yeah, it was a nice sized cray at that. Um, but unfortunately, it had shed its skeleton and moved on. There wasn't any uh, urgency to find it as it would be in soft shell. Uh, which, if you're unaware, you cannot take crays here in New Zealand in soft shell. So. Grab my gun, which was trying to escape with the kayak and uh, moved on to a new spot. Eel here, cruising through the crevices. Moving on, I found a nice um, fishy little area. Some nice little 30 centimeter snappers buzzing around, so Found a nice spot filled with kinna, grabbed a rock, smashed them up and let that sit for five to ten minutes. Coming back, um, there was actually a nice snapper sitting on there, probably around the 10 to 12 pound mark. Um, got a shaft into it, thought it was all over and it, and it got off, so I'm not sure what happened. Uh, flopper must not have engaged, which was a shame. 
swam back down, searched under all these rocks, boulders, but I couldn't find the fish, unfortunately. So yeah, I hope that it's spotted. And um, yeah, but unfortunately. Trying again at another spot and smashed a few more kinner up. The place was overrun with them, as with many places on the Coromandel or Haraki Gulf. They're just in plagues. Um, bit of a shame. So yeah, let that sit again for a while and came back and managed a, a small penny snapper. Unfortunately, I didn't get that on film for you. Cruising around, looking for some crays. Found an old cray pot here, so may may have been in the right area. I didn't find any though, so yeah, checked inside, see if it was uh, being occupied, but no luck there. Well, hard work, that's that nice snapper, I don't know what happened there, but it um, tore off unfortunately. I had a good hunt, couldn't find it any, under any rocks or anything, so um, that was a shame, but um, yeah, just chilling in this little bay here, having a breather, and um, I think I'm going to head back, pretty knackered. Well I managed the one, one little snapper there, so I'm happy I got one snapper at least. Um, there's a surge in here. Yep, so I'm going to cruise back along the coast, might try one or two more spots for a snapper, but um, yeah the weather's packing in, time to go home, I'm pretty hungry. I tried a few more spots on the way home. Um, my highly fluorescent green rubbers um, were, were causing a bit of a scene. No, they, they weren't that green. That's just the new GoPro I got. I need to fiddle with the settings. Anyways, checked a few ledges, checked a few caves. No luck as uh, with the rest of the morning. So yeah, that was it. I was pretty naked. Time to cruise on back home. along this beautiful coast. Ooh, I've been eating all day. I'm gonna get back, kayak on the roof, straight to the nearest shop, coffee and a pie, get some ice for the fish, and uh, at home. Anyways, hope you liked that little adventure. See you on the next dive, see you on the next hunt. See you out there, cheers for watching. Oh, I hope you liked that one. Hey, um, if you like my channel and you watch me regularly, support me is now a membership option if you just want to click below join button and have a little read if that's something that interests you and uh, you'd like to support me that'd be really awesome if not all good I'm gonna keep making these videos and uh, keep sharing my adventures so anyways we'll see you out there cheers guys <laughs>